Hey guys, Jonathan Wilson here for JM Sports 100, the JM Sports Show. How is it going? I'm here to make NFL picks for week uh, 12 in the NFL, the 2013 NFL season. We are just picking straight up from now on for the rest of this year. I believe it was Monday or Tuesday I posted on the JM Sports Show Facebook page, link in the description, give it a like, um, that uh, I wasn't going to do spread anymore this year because I was just... I was making a fool of myself is all it was. Uh, we had another abysmal week against the spread uh, last week where we only went 4-11 uh, and 11 against the spread. We did go 9-6 and six straight up, so we did pretty good there straight up. Um, we also did have the Saints beating the Falcons on Thursday. I did not make that pick on YouTube, um, but I did have the Saints beating the Falcons on Thursday. They did that, so with that, we are 94 and 70 on the year, 567 wins, 347 losses, and one tie. Now, remember, no spread for Thursday night either because I decided earlier in the week I wasn't doing spread anymore. So, our final record against the spread for 2013 was 63 wins and 106 losses. The overall record against, our overall record against the spread took a huge hit because of the 64 and 106. We are 154 and 175 lifetime against the spread. I will potentially pick up the spread again next year, but I just want to focus on doing the best that I can as far as straight up for this year. Uh, and then we'll worry about the spread and whatever when next year comes. All right, here we go, guys. Let's do it. We kick this off with the Bears and the Rams. It's, it's an interesting game here, uh, just because the Rams are nowhere near as bad as as they had seemed at times this year. Um, but obviously, I, I think it's it's you know whether it's whether it's Cutler or McCown or whatever the case is as far as quarterback for the Bears. I do think the Bears team is obviously the better football team. I am going to go with Bears to win the game. Pittsburgh and Cleveland. Steelers coming off of a big, big win uh, against the Lions, a team that you uh, kind of struggle to trust. Time coming off a big win against the Lions. Now going into a divisional game against the Browns. I think the game is close, but I do have the Steelers getting the win. Buccaneers and Lions. Uh, be careful in this game here. I don't think there's much to worry about, but I'll tell you what, Mike Glennon, and I kind of said it, you know, amongst people around here when he when he first took over as uh, as quarterback of the Bucks, and I said, you know, he doesn't look too bad, and I was kind of scoffed at. Well, guess what? He doesn't look too bad. Mike Glennon is making it work a little bit in Tampa there. They have won uh, two straight coming off of, of course, the uh, big win against Atlanta last week. I, I think the, the momentum stops a little bit. I think the Lions do get the win this weekend. Minnesota Vikings and the Green Bay Packers. Um, you know, obviously, Aaron Rodgers still out. Scott Tolsey going to get the, Scott Tolsey and getting the start. Matt Flynn there to back him up. Um, the big deal in this game here as far as the Packers is obviously Tolzien can't make mistakes. He has not looked horrible. Uh, I don't think he looked as good against the Giants. Um, personally, I think, I mean, he didn't look terrible, but he uh, he had some pretty bad interceptions in that, interceptions in that game. Um, but the big thing for the Packers is their defense. Okay? Uh, the defense was starting to come around, and then Aaron Rodgers went down. Once Aaron Rodgers went down, apparently the defense went down with him. Uh, Adrian Peterson uh, does expect to play in this game. He's listed as questionable on the injury report. And the way the Packers' defense has been playing, I think Adrian Peterson could have a monster game. The question is, how healthy is he really? Um, and can the Packers' defense finally step up? Yeah, Clay Matthews getting back and trying to deal with the with the the, the thumb injury and, and playing with the club and then uh, playing with the cast. Um, you know, I think he's figuring that out and getting better, but uh, we'll see. Call me a homer. Go ahead. I know you're going to. I think it's a really tight game. I, I can't see the Packers losing a fourth straight game. I'm going with the Packers to win. A little iffy. It's going to be tight, but going with Packers. 
Alright, next up, we've got San Diego and Kansas City. Um, you know, what more can you say in this game? San Diego has just turned into a complete wreck of a football team. Something has, has gone wrong there. Kansas City uh, did not compete with Denver quite like I think anybody thought they would on Sunday night, last Sunday night, and especially me. Um, and I think they come back with a vengeance. I think they come back with a vengeance at home. Uh, Arrowhead's a tough place to play. I do have the Chiefs getting the win. Carolina and Miami. All right. I have something to say here. I, in the beginning, and really up until this year, and up until the last several weeks, was really tough on Cam Newton. I didn't think he was going to make it. In fact, I have a video about it. If you go down far, I think last year or so, I made a video about it, saying that I felt like he wasn't going to make it. Cam Newton is a very exciting and fun player to watch now. That Carolina defense has gotten is is that Carolina defense is really good. Uh, Cam Newton is really really figured it out at this level. Miami is a mess. You don't know what you're getting from them from one week to the next anymore. Um, you know because of the the bullying stuff, which I'm not going to talk much more about because I've talked about it at nauseum. Um, I think Carolina wins this game. Carolina is hot. And the big thing is, I think Carolina actually, you know, whether or not you want to question uh, the call on Monday night against New England, whether or not it was a penalty or, or whatever the case may be, I think Carolina showed something. Because everybody, including me, and I said it in last week's video, I felt like they were going to come down. It was a big win the week before against the Fort Niners. I feel like they were going to come down, but they didn't. They competed with New England. Granted, yeah, New England made some mistakes in, in that game, you know, fumbling in the red zone and stuff, but, you know, Carolina still able got the, it was, was still able to get the job done. Uh, Cam Newton looked good last week. I think he definitely looks good against uh, Miami defense. That Something has gone wrong with that Miami defense, too. That was a good defense at the beginning of the year, but something went wrong there. I drove Carolina getting the win. The Jets and the Ravens. Interesting here. Big game for the Jets, you know, coming off of that loss to the Bills last week, you know, and and David Bust the whole David Buster's thing, going to David Buster's night before wasn't a big deal, wasn't a big deal. Did it affect them? Maybe a little bit, uh, you know, maybe been a little bit of that. Maybe maybe been a little bit of, well, we beat the Saints, so let's look down to the Bills a little bit. Um, <laughs> this is tough because. The Jets are one of those teams where if they play bad one week, they may play good the next week. But here's the deal. Geno Smith, he needs a lot of work. He turns the ball over way too much. And, and anybody who, you know, I could show I could show a, a non-sports fan his, his numbers and go, he throws an interception or he fumbles the ball that much, and they'll be like, yeah, he's not the answer. Well, I think he kind of is the answer. I mean... What else are you going to do? Obviously, they're going to stick with him. I am going to go with the Ravens to beat the Jets. That was an interesting um, rant slash take. Jacksonville and Houston. <laughs> oh, Houston. Can they finally win? Or will they lose their ninth straight game? Hmm. It's Jacksonville, right? Yep. But, Jacksonville's got a win now. And, not saying they're playing great, because they're really not. They played Arizona for the most part tough last week. Arizona's not a bad team. Houston has turned into a mess. I am going to go with the Texans to win this game. But, do not be surprised if the Jaguars pull off the upset. Tennessee and Oakland. Uh, you know, Oakland is Oakland with maybe a little bit better. Uh, Tennessee is Oakland coming in uh, with matching four and six records. But Tennessee just, they were good for a while, and then they just kind of, yeah, we're not as good as some people thought we were. Black Hole's a tough place to play. Uh, I think it's a, I think, it, I honestly think it's a Chris Johnson, Terrell Pryor show. 
Um, and I am going to very reluctantly go with the Raiders to win the game, but like I said, I'm iffy. You know, I was pretty high on Tennessee. I was pretty high on on Tennessee at, for for a while this year. I was like, yeah, you know, they're they're not that bad, um, you know. But I was apparently wrong. They have uh, they have wronged somewhere. Uh, I believe that. Terrell Pryor is starting. Um, I, I could be wrong, and if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. And I'm sure I'll get I'll get comments of corrections because that's about the only comments I ever get are are corrections, which I don't get those very often either. But uh, from time to time, they do happen. So I apologize. That one was uh, that was poor, that was a poorly put together analysis, and that was uh, completely my fault. Completely my bad. Indianapolis and Arizona. Um, basically, I think you have to put the Colts down 14 nothing early, and then uh, then the Colts can come back. It seems like the only that seems like the only way they can play is uh, is from behind, which is odd to say. Arizona's uh, you know not a bad football team here. Um, they could pull off a win, but I really do not think so. Uh, I think you know the Colts. Uh, have had tough, uh, you know, tough goings the last couple of weeks. Um, you know, whether whether success or or like or failure, like in St. Louis. But uh, I do have the Colts uh, bouncing back and beating Arizona, and I do think that they uh, beat them handily. Dallas Cowboys, New York Giants. Can I say this? A lot of points to the Giants. Cowboys defense is bad. Okay, the Giants are getting better. Their defense is getting better. This will kind of be the true test of how good they are. They're on the winning streak, but they are uh, playing the starting quarterback known as Tony Romo. And I think this is going to have normal NFC East drama to it. I don't think it's going to be a blow. I do think it'll be a high scoring, really, on, on both fronts. The Giants' defense has gotten better, but they've gotten better against not very good teams. It's going to be a true test to see how good the Giants have, how much better the Giants have actually become. I believe it or not, do have the Giants winning this game. It's a big-time situation. This is when Dallas likes to choke. I think they do it here. And give me the Giants to get the win. Denver and New England. Uh, this right here kind of, to me, and I could be wrong, but to me it has the recipe of a New England win. Okay? Uh, Peyton Manning has struggled throughout his career against the Patriots. It is a, it's, it's a big game. Uh, and we all know that in big games, with the exception of Kansas City, Peyton Manning at times can struggle. New England does not lose two in a row very often. They are not happy in New England about what happened in the Carolina game. I have New England coming uh, out and winning this game back at home and back at home at Foxborough. I, th I think it's tight. I don't think New England blows Denver out, but I do think Patriots get the win. 49ers and Redskins is our Monday night game. I have the 49ers winning this game. You know what more can you say, San Francisco? Something has happened to Colin Kaepernick. He's not the quarterback he was, but something has really happened to uh, RG3 and that Redskin team. It is definitely a disaster in Washington. San Francisco, I believe, will exploit that definitely and get the win. All right, guys, that is going to do it for me. I am John Lemons up for Jam Sports 100, the Jam Sports Show. Wow, long video. Uh, like the Jam Sports Show page on Facebook. Link in the description. Channel update coming up tomorrow about some new equipment so that all this poor quality video stuff can stop and uh, we can get some, some real uh, good content pushed out. So that is going to do it for me. I am John Lemons up for Jam Sports 100 and the Jam Sports Show. Enjoy your NFL weekend. See you guys later.